Hello, IG. Hello, this is Amorelli J. It's very nice to meet you finally. So I'm going to be answering question D and tell you about a very specific leadership experience that had a tremendous impact on my education. It was last year at Northeastern, but before we move into this, let me give you a little bit of context. So I started my studies in France, in the city of France. After that, I moved about two years ago in the city of Boston, where we are today, to study international business and finance. It was really a great experience overall. Boston is a vibrant city. It's famous for its sport, history, and many universities, of course. Entrepreneurship is really keen here. We have many speakers, events, competition, and plenty of opportunities for students to prove themselves. During my first semester here in Boston, I joined the Husky Startup Challenge, a three-month competition involving about 25 different startups and as much as 70 different students from all around the world. I was super excited about this project. I knew that I would be able to apply my past experience in France that I gained during similar competition to this specific project, but to a much larger scale. We knew that this would be a real challenge. Indeed, our to-do list was quite unlimited and our resources were very scarce. In addition to that, I personally knew that my teammates had no previous experience in entrepreneurship or project management in general. My role during these three months were really to focus on the objectives, to define them, define priorities, deadlines, and making sure that everybody in the team felt empowered and really in the best environment possible for them to succeed. The skills gathered within the team were very different and the challenge was really to make everybody productive. So, let me show you the result of all of this. Good evening ladies and gentlemen, my name is Morello J and this is Andrew Colabella. The rest of the team is made of Roman right here and Julian and Matt. And we are the co-founders of Bloom Backpack Company. So what do we do? Well, our company delivers an entirely customizable backpack because we want to give you total control over your life. Indeed, we found out about the very obvious problems with bags. Today, the things we carry are personal, but the way we carry them is not personal. Why is that? Well, let's take the example of Julian. This is Julian. He's a young professional and basically our target market, between 25 and 40 years old, and he has kind of a urban lifestyle. To go through his weekly routine, Julian currently owns a backpack, a computer bag, a gym bag, and a travel bag. In fact, do you know the average numbers of bags people currently own? Four. Four different bags to fit all of their needs. They represent a total of $250 spent on bags. And you know what? People are not currently satisfied with this. Our survey has shown that 70% of people wish they had only one bag to fit all of their needs. So there is an opportunity on this market. Our company is delivering a customizable backpack in terms of features, style, options, color, comfort, and of course size. Now the user, when building a backpack, as you can see behind me, will build a backpack like one builds Legos. They could buy the core backpack, and they could also buy internal pockets or external pockets, and physically attach or detach those pockets, depending on the circumstance or whatever their needs. Now, they could buy this backpack through our website, and hopefully in the future through Amazon and department stores. Now, what about price? Through our research, we have determined that this backpack would cost approximately $150. Now, our competitors who make backpacks do not offer nearly the amount of customization that we offer, and at a much more expensive price. So, what's next? Well, our goal right now is to win this competition and build a final prototype to eventually launch our Kickstarter campaign. Within one year, I wish I can go visit my parents in Paris with my bloom bags in my hand. But right now, I would like to thank you for your attention and support, and please don't forget to check the email. No, it's a website. <laughs> that with me, sorry. Thank you, guys. Oh my gosh. Yeah, we're feeling pretty good about it. How this ended up? Well, we won the first prize of this competition and this was certainly one of the most memorable experiences of my life. But wait a minute, what did you do after that? We kept going. The challenge was to keep working on the project and make some revenue. 
And it was hard, really, really was hard, but entrepreneurship is not easy. Oh, really? Yes. And it was great. Our engineers even managed to develop a patentable product, an attachment mechanism that was completely unique. I went out in the street, talked to potential customers, established a business plan, and also started establishing relationships with VCs around Boston to let them know what we were working on. That was super exciting. And you're gonna ask me, what happened next? Well, class were pressuring us and grades were suffering. On the other hand, I found a full-time job at the Boston Consulting Group and therefore could not allocate as much time as I wanted to the project. Hmm, sad. Yes, it was. It was very disappointing, but it was a wise solution. Having a team under my responsibility and working with some such talented people was really rewarding for me and extremely formatting in terms of leadership skills. I am truly convinced that the learning experience transcended the commercial failure. Taking over my responsibilities and embracing them was really what made a difference, especially during the, the first three months. Now, I have many more things to do and a long career to go. In IE, I know that I will find the same type of commitment to entrepreneurship and similar ambitious people who are willing to change the world with their ideas. In addition to that, I witnessed during my project in, here in Boston the power of teams who are diversified in terms of nationalities and skills. We partly won this project not because we had the best ideas or best pitch, it's because the different skills that were gathered within the team were very fast. I know that the highly diversified class of this program can lead to extremely exciting and impactful projects, and I can't wait to join you for this amazing journey. I.E., thank you very much for your attention, and I hope to see you again very soon.